Jó napot kívánok! Ez a Pont EU, a Pannon Televízió Európai Uniós magazin műsora. Ezúttal a központi témánk a környezetvédelem. Az Európai Unió igyekszik megőrizni bolygónkat, de nincs könnyű feladata. Főleg a keleti tagországokban vannak komoly problémák, ott ugyanis a gyárak többsége nincs is felszerelve a megfelelő szűrőberendezésekkel. De szó lesz még az Európai Önkéntes Szolgálat működéséről, elmondják tapasztalataikat az Erasmus Plus ösztöndíjasai és a Szólásszabadság, a szabad sajtó is a témák között szerepel, nézzenek minket! Az éghajlatváltozás természetes folyamat. Bolygónk hol felmelegszik, hol pedig lehűl. Ez azonban normál esetben évmilliók alatt játszódik le. Az utóbbi időben azonban lényegesen felgyorsult ez a folyamat, ennek pedig beláthatatlan következményei is lehetnek. Hamarosan megmutatjuk, hogy mit tesz az Unió ez ügyben. Előtte azonban mondja el a szakértő, hogy mi az a klímaváltozás és mi okozza. Éghajlatbarát politika a világ megismerése. Well, the climate of our planet has changed through billions and millions of years. In particular, we had ice ages in between, punctuated by warmer phases. And in particular, during the last two and a half million years, we had a roller coaster development of climate going up and down. Nothing compares to what humans are now doing to the planet during this century. The problem is that now, through human interference, it seems that the planet will be warming up much, much faster than ever in the last millions of years. That's what we call man-made climate change. What's the cause? Well, it's uh, the output of greenhouse gases uh, from industrial processes, from land use, things like that. When you keep on enriching the atmosphere with greenhouse gases, the planet has to get warmer and warmer, and that's precisely what is happening right now. The first effect clearly is the surface temperature of the planet is rising, but uh, one of the really important effects is that this warming of the atmosphere also leads to warming of the oceans. If you warm water, it expands, so this tiny expansion may just add to sea level a meter or so, but if you live by the coast and you have an ocean soaring by one meter, it can become very dangerous, actually. And then, of course, you have something which will affect everybody, that is uh, uh, changing extreme weather patterns. Uh? I just look to the statistics of the insurance industry. Uh? You see that weather-related events cause now tremendous damages. There is one big, big challenge which uh, will affect us all, that is uh, food security. By the end of the century, when this planet may host perhaps 10 or 12 billion people, you have to produce much more food. In the end, we have a choice, uh, and it's not the technology which is hampering us in any way, it is ourselves. We have to switch our energy system as soon as possible from fossil fuels, gas, oil, coal in particular, to non-carbon sources as we call it, that is wind, solar, biomass. Even with the existing technologies, we can rapidly decarbonize Europe become a world leader when it comes to reduce greenhouse emissions. It's the political will in the end, uh, because it's in the end a competition between an old economic system, which is based on fossil fuels, uh, let's face it, and a new system, which is much more sustainable, has no side effects, environmental, will probably even create much more jobs in the end, and will foster innovation at all scales. 
200 nation states on this planet who all have to work together. It is an unprecedented challenge in human history. Éghajlatbarát politika. A világ megismerése. Maradunk a környezetvédelemnél. A káros anyag kibocsájtásért a közlekedés mellett elsősorban az ipar a felelős. Az Unióban a keleti tagországok jelentik a legnagyobb problémát, ott ugyanis a gyárak jelentős részén még nincsenek megfelelő szűrőberendezések. Hogyan lehet orvosolni a helyzetet? Következő bejátszásunk erről szól. Sometimes we forget that one of the single biggest challenges facing our planet is the fact that it's heating up. And we have an opportunity against a ticking clock to try and reduce the temperature rise of the planet. Now we can't do it alone. The EU uh, emissions trading scheme is the cornerstone of the EU's attempts to address climate change. And simply put, it is a way of encouraging a market-based solution. The design is basically to allow those who are wanting to pollute to pay for that pollution. So we've created a system of permits. In order to emit carbon, you must hold a certain number of permits. If you want to pollute more or allow more out, you must buy more permits. So at the beginning it worked very well. And then came the financial crash. And the consequence of the financial crash was that manufacturing itself went down through a significant dip. People simply were not manufacturing and therefore they were not emitting and therefore didn't need the permits to allow them to emit. And slowly but surely the number of permits built up until what we have today is a huge glut of permits. There is uh, already proposed what is called a market stability reserve, which is like a bank account into which you can put the excess allowances. But one of the first things we try to do is to double the rate at which those allowances enter the bank. So they're taken away faster. One of the bigger challenges, of course, as a continent, is we have a lot of post-Soviet technology to the east, which frankly is, is a problem. And we need to make a way through that by innovation and modernization. So we've created funds again to support the, um, the member states to the east to help them through that. The challenge right now is we have the structure and the mechanism. We have the car, if you like. We have the engine. We just haven't got the ignition key turning yet. And until that engine starts powering the change, we are going to be falling behind. A folytatásban öt szám, öt aktuális téma az Európai Unióban, egy percben összefoglalva. It's the first time a Canadian Prime Minister speaks to the European Parliament. Justin Trudeau has come to praise the EU-Canada trade deal approved by Parliament despite protests. Member states have 18 months to implement an anti-terror law which makes it a crime for foreign fighters or lone wolves to travel and plan isolated attacks. 86 billion euros, that's the amount allotted to Greece in its third bailout package. Up for debate is whether the country's efforts to slash debt are enough. MEPs want to reform the European Union as the Treaty of Rome turns 60 this year. To tackle crises more effectively, they want a special Eurozone budget. It costs European companies roughly 5 euros to pump one ton of carbon into the air. MEPs want to bump up the price to encourage industries to get cleaner faster. A szólásszabadság, a szabad vélemény nyilvánítása az Európai Unió alapértékei közé tartozik. Ezért igyekeznek a csatlakozni kívánó országokban is küzdeni a média szabadságáért. A folytatásban ismerjenek meg egy koszovói újságírót és az ő munkáját. Of the many values Europe promotes, freedom of expression is fundamental to citizens. 
An independent media promotes and protects freedom of expression and therefore must be ensured in each member state and country with a European perspective. Freedom of expression in the Western Balkans and Turkey faces several challenges, including political and economic interference. There are few self-sustaining media outlets which can limit critical opinions and restrict reporters. Yet, many journalists have support from the international community to promote media pluralism and freedom of expression for all citizens. I have experienced the impact of changes that media can do. A journalist is not just a reporter. A journalist fights for a better tomorrow. After an international media career with the BBC, Yeta Zara returned to Kosovo to shape the democratic process of her country. Today, she's a committed mother and prominent investigative journalist. She's the executive director and co-founder of BERN, the Balkan Investigative Reporting Network in Kosovo. With a team of 50 people, she produces two TV shows, two online platforms and an English newspaper. Yeta is editor-in-chief and the driving force behind Life in Kosovo, a TV program that examines political promises and encourages social debate. The reward is huge because thousands of people uh, come to our political debates and really reward us by giving us raw research. I think this is why we survive, because we are doing a very civic activism journalism, addressing the citizen's question to the politician. In many countries, political pressure causes self-censorship to avoid intimidation and threats, raised on media outlets, imprisonment and violence. This even extends to citizens giving information to journalists. Burn journalists, active in almost all Western Balkan countries, strive to be the watchdogs of public institutions and perform quality and impartial reporting. Their projects are funded by the European Union and other international donors. Freedom of expression is an important human right and the EU supports investigative journalism as a means to monitor the pre-accession reform process. Initiatives like BURN are needed to document change at national and local government levels. I am determined for Kosovo to be a very functional, independent country and the only way to do that is by scrutinizing my own leadership and making them rise up their standard in order to deliver good life for their own citizens. A múlt héten elkezdtük, most pedig folytatjuk. Az Erasmus Plus diákcsere program résztvevői mesélik el tapasztalatukat. Salut! Vous savez quoi? À l'école, on a fait un super projet. On a cuisiné. Oui, on a fait des recettes de tous les pays de nos parents. C'était une chouette façon de faire aussi de la géo, de l'histoire et des maths. Et d'apprendre à mieux parler et à mieux se connaître. C'était ouf! Et marin est trop bon. C'était le plus de notre Erasmus Plus. Hello, I'm Tanya. I went abroad to study international business. I discovered other cultures and met inspiring people. Some pretty good business ideas sprung up. I learned to feel instantly at home wherever I go and found that entrepreneurship knows no borders. Now I feel that I'm really ready for the future. And these were the pluses of my Erasmus Plus. A Pont EU-ban rendszeresen foglalkozunk az önkéntességgel. Elmondjuk, hogy az önkéntes munkával tudást, tapasztalatot és barátokat is szerezhetünk. Most ismerjék meg az Európai Önkéntes Szolgálatot, aminek az a feladata, hogy segítse azokat a szervezeteket, amelyek önkéntesekkel is foglalkoznak. Támogatást biztosítanak nekik és segítenek a taktoborzásban is. YMCA Bournemouth is a community charity. We work with people in the community of all ages through leisure facilities, housing accommodation, youth work, children's work, training and education. Ci chiamiamo Anfa Sonlus di Pordenone, eh, siamo eh, a Pordenone nel nord-est d'Italia e siamo un'associazione che si rivolge alle persone disabili e alle loro famiglie. 
Numele organizației este Centrul de Voluntariat Cluj-Napoca. Misiunea noastră se referă la promovarea voluntariatului ca o metodă de implicare a comunității în soluționarea problemelor identificate la nivelul acesteia. Suntem uh, activi în Cluj-Napoca, România. Pietri Baradi Vidipat, baza Slepe. Un nou darbo este activ o unilă spiegozivă să vede popularizăționul, care priu protegă darbo. Beneficiile implicării voluntarilor internaționali în cadrul organizației, dincolo de viziuni foarte diferite pe care voluntarii le aduc cu ei și contribuie la modificarea diferitelor activități pe care le desfășurăm, prin program am reușit să stabilim legături cu tot felul de alte organizații din Europa. Dopo il servizio volontario europeo, ANFAS ha assunto circa una quindicina di giovani. Gregory è uno di questi, anzi fa parte del primo gruppo arrivato nel 1997, è ancora qui con noi perché ha fatto il corso per diventare operatore sociosanitario ed è uno dei responsabili dell'ANFAS. Ho fatto il volontariato 19 anni fa, poi mi hanno chiesto di rimanere per lavorare e sono rimasto. Fare volontariato in Anfas mi ha aperto uh, tante cose, uh, mi ha aperto la mente e a crescere soprattutto non ho, perché non avevo mai lavorato con i disabili. Fa visto note che ti uh, si ama e ti ti ha fatto di scoprire, ti ha fatto svariare e gizdomat, um, co ti ha fatto di pratica e da ris, io non mi ha spusso se ja dot konkret darbs kur iesaistīties, bet ir ļoti svarīgi dot arī to talpu viņu pašu iniciatīvām un idejām, jo tas ar ko nāk viņi ir tas, tas ko varam mācīties mēs. Consiglio vivamente ad altre associazioni di eh, partecipare al servizio volontario europeo perché è una un'esperienza di eh, apprendimento continuo perché apre la mente, perché eh, aiuta a combattere il pregiudizio a, attraverso l'accettazione della diversità. Pirm kart like tutto per ebe da organizzazione in ja saprot skaidri prekškam jums vai priupratiki un ko te priupratiki daris jums organizacija. If you're interested in participating in EVS, contact your national agency. Your national agency can tell you how to get accredited to host or send with EVS. Dopodiché eh, si riceve l'accreditamento e poi in caso si possono, si possono eh, inviare le richieste di finanziamento, scrivere i progetti e inviare e ricevere volontari. Per a reclutare volontari per i progetti delle nostre, follo sempre da parte a tutte le piattaforme online, cât și mă ne folosim de parteneriatele pe care le-am dezvoltat în timp cu alte organizații din Europa, cărora le transmitem colul, oportunitatea de voluntariat, pe care eu o dau mai departe către tinerii cu care lucrează. Grazie al Servizio Volontario Europeo l'ANFAS riesce a dare una maggiore qualità di vita ai nostri ospiti e, e quindi noi siamo molto contenti di lavorare all'interno di questo programma. A jövő héten is lesz Ponteu, aktuális témákkal az Európai Unió életéből. Várom önöket ugyanígy szombaton este fél héttől. Viszontlátásra!